I am in uh, Nordfeld, Germany, in front of Lox. It is becoming uh, low tide. The water is running towards sea. What's the time? 10 minutes past 7. Good morning. A man has got to do what a man has got to do. I changed the sheets on my bed. So tonight I will sleep in a clean bed. And although I arrived uh, around uh, 10 o'clock last night, I'm feeling fresh. I jumped into bed almost immediately. And in Dutch we have a saying, um, fris als een hoentje. Um, in a one-on-one -on -one translation it is as fresh as a chicken. So that means that even the moment of the day you are um, ready to face the day and have fun. That is exactly what we are going to do. The pilot says that the lock is operational from 7 in the morning until 7 at night. But I see double red, but that is next to each other and not above each other. The sign says that it is forbidden to uh, walk along these um, jetties. They call it Leitwerke. Hmm. can find a, a correct English word now. So you are not as fresh as a chicken. Yeah, but yeah, it's the age. So I will um, go downstairs and drop this in the laundry area. Well, as many households, I have a basket and I drop it in the basket and then there is a moment that I have to do the laundry. I have to keep the boat on a position and I have to release the lines. Hmm. And then I have to reverse and press a button or something like that, I think. Hmm. We will see. I just released the lines and then I saw somebody in the lock house and he waved. I thought I can reverse the boat so I can um, press the button and when I was preparing everything I saw somebody in the lock house. Yeah, both doors are open now. Am I allowed? There is no green yet. Let's wait. Yeah, but he looks... Yeah, now I have double green. Nice. There's a bollard over here. So, whilst releasing the line, I waved at the operator as a thank you very much. In my mind, I only would reverse and then um, throw a line around one of the piles to wait for the current and then I could press a button and then all of a sudden I saw this uh, operator in front of the window. So yeah, that was nice. I did not plan to start cruising already. Mm. I checked oil, engine, cooling. Fenders. 
do that auto yep stand by and off we go Well, ladies and gentlemen, mm. if you look at the YouTube analytics, then you will see that 99.4% uh, of my viewers is man. So, uh, yo, bro! <laughs> it feels as if I, I am with my 18-year-old uh, son. <laughs> At the moment we are on the inner either. So you have the outside either, and this is called the inner either. And the pilot says you will see a difference in scenery the moment that you pass the lock. Well, that is for sure. This scenery, in my opinion, has similarities with a river. I have been on several times and that is the river Maes. In uh, Dutch we call it Maas, Mike Alpha Alpha Sierra. The Maes, it has the same scenery. Yeah, so it almost feels like home. The inner Eider is a river that meanders through the landscape and somewhere I read that the maximum speed over here is eight knots yeah at uh, 1750 rpm we have a speed of 5.6 at the moment and when we were at sea we needed 1900 RPM to have this speed. You also see some mooring facilities, but I get the impression that it is for locals only. There is almost a 180 degrees bend in the river. Perhaps it is 160%. Uh, but it feels as if we are going back. Coffee time! But, 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 Henk Jan, it's nine o'clock, so that is not coffee time. Ah, you know what? Don't dictate the rules, just benefit the moment that you need your coffee. Do I need it? Hmm. No. Yeah, perhaps. I like it, but not more than three a day, three cappuccinos. So what is the phrase? Pause the video, grab something to drink and to eat and let's enjoy this joyful moment together. Cheers. Since the inner eider is this wide over here, why not drop anchor? Um, 
because I haven't published a video the last 14 days and uh, I would like to share some uh, memories and yeah this is a beautiful setting to drop anchor and just relax for a while so there is this uh, Facebook group uh, called Sailing North for people who are sailing to the Baltic most of them are sailors but the motorboaters uh, gain in uh, number and I asked over there is there a possibility to drop anchor on the either and the people said well the outer either is difficult and then Ruth commented but you can drop anchor at uh, kilometer 70 so I am at that spot right now yeah I have no idea if I will stay here for six hours, seven hours, eight hours to do this editing because it takes that much time for one video nowadays. But yeah, I can at least I can make a start. So let's have a look. What does the wind say? The wind says nothing other than it is north like yesterday. Let's have a look at my wind finder. Okay, so hardly any wind, and if there is any, it will come from the north. Oh, and tomorrow uh, it will. Okay, make a 180 degrees shift. So, north is over there. And it's easier to drop anchor over there because then the boat is um, is facing towards the wind. And yeah, I also looked at my cameras and on my AIS, and there is nobody. I am waving to the water police, the Wasserschutzpolizei. There was a small boat with the sign Polizei darauf. <laughs> on. <laughs> now I start speaking several languages together because I um, talked German to them. They came around Lady Lieselot and they said, is it okay if we board? And uh, do you have papers of this boat? Are you the owner and can you prove so? And I said, yes, of course I can prove that. So step aboard. But is it okay that I film this? And one of the guys said, well, officially I must say yes, but um, I prefer not to. And then I said, okay, no problem at all. But uh, okay, step aboard. And then uh, they came aboard and they said, uh, can you prove that you are the owner of this boat? And do you have a driver license for this boat? And I said, well, officially in the Netherlands, you do not need a driver license for this boat because the boat is less than 15 meters and, and it can not go faster than 20 kilometers per hour. But yes, here is my driving license. And then he said, and can you prove that this is your boat? Yes, I can. Because uh, I have created this folder with all the documents available, always handy for both police or customs, any uh, organization that pops up. So I showed them the documents. I said the documents are in Dutch, so must I translate it for you? No, 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 it looks officially enough. All right. Well, this is the buying contract and this is the VAT certificate, etc, etc. So, it was a chat of approximately five minutes, perhaps less. And then they said, uh, thank you very much and uh, goodbye. 
in the Netherlands, I always have my anchor ball out when on anchor. And I know that in Germany it is mandatory also and they check on it. You even can get a fine when they find out that you do not have an anchor ball out. Well, I read that somewhere, so I guess that is true. Yeah, so that was uh, exciting. Well, not, but it was nice to uh, show. It's a beautiful day. Ta -da -da -ta 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 -ta. Yeah, you have heard me say it many times uh, before in several videos. I um, most of the time know the first couple of words of a song and then um, my brain blocks. And um, when I meet a girl, or a woman, a human that is girlish, <laughs> then uh, she most of the time sings every song out of, what's the word, by heart. They know the lyrics and I listen to the song and I think yes this is the correct lyrics but I could not remember it the moment that I needed it. It's a beautiful day, la 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 la, la la la, I think I gonna mer- <coughs> Quit, stop. <laughs> the rest of the lyrics, I really do not remember anymore. <laughs> wow, what a beautiful start of today. So, I will pick up the hook and off we go. Let's see, uh, I run with both engines, that is not necessary. I will continue on this one. I will use my port engine because the alternator will load my 24 bank to together with the solar panels. The depth is 5.6. First we will start slow and then we will push her to the regular speed. 5.6 knots. Hey Henkian, you are uh, inland in Germany. So, uh, how about using kilometers? Yeah, that is right, since on this river and on the canal they use kilometers. I actually should adapt to the setting where I am right now. If you have a look at your um, depth gouge, well, you cannot. If I have a look for you 
on my depth couch then uh, you see that it is very uh, in Dutch we say grillig um, let's let's call it in English wild wild yes wild thing da, da, da. Oh, okay uh, <laughs> wild because sometimes it is eight meters and then all of a sudden it is four meters and then all of a sudden it is six meters and then it is eight again and then it is four meters even if you are in the middle of the river so normally one would think the river looks a little bit like this that is true because when I'm here then the the uh, the depth is approximately three meters but also over here at the moment I am at four and I'm in the middle of the river yeah and in previous videos I have compared the inner Eider with the Dutch maze um, but there's a big difference perhaps it is as white as the maze and the scenery on the keys are alike but there are hardly to no boats and there are no barges on the inner either and on the maze oh it can be very crowded with barges and recreational boaters yeah And then, ladies and gentlemen, we uh, approach an important landmark called the Giselau Locks. The Locks of Giselau. And from what I understand is that after the locks you can moor. Oi! historical looks stop stop let's have a look I need my other glasses the sunglasses are not that do not give me that sharpness what does this sign say So why am I wearing my life vest? That is because the boat that came towards me, the guy on the bow wore a life vest and I thought, hmm, I've seen um, many Germans wear their life vest, perhaps it is mandatory. We will open up in 15 minutes, the guy said, 
he came uh, just to chat and he said did you already buy a ticket i said yeah the page is online but you can you can also pay at uh, at my station so i will do that I will keep some distance because I think that I will run my generator later today. <laughs> Two lines. I have to. Uh, Bring out two lines and then we are ready. For now, you liked it, the inner eider. I hope you do. And um, please let me know by giving the thumbs up. And how about this? Do I see you in the next video? All right then. Bye bye.